Hi, I'm in Buriram, Thailand, near the Chang International Motor Speedway, and I'm about to do something that's completely irresponsible and probably illegal. Part of this track is open. And this straightaway is open to traffic. So I'm taking this rental car, this Toyota Camry, up to as fast as I could go in about this one mile, half a mile strip underneath the start finish line. And let's see, I'm up to 120, 130, 140. Okay, time to slow down and brake a little bit. Now, like I said, this is not the most responsible thing in the world to do, and I bet you it's even illegal. And yeah, I'm exaggerating a little bit. That 130 that I hit. It was kilometers per hour. <laughs> it's, it's, so it's not quite as fast as an American might think 130 might be. I just wanted to do that for shits and giggles. This morning when I was preparing to come to Buriram, the city of Buriram that I'm in is about 30,000 people and it is the capital city of Buriram province. And when I was researching it, the, uh, the Wikipedia page that I found said that Buriram uh, had not attracted the tourists that Thailand is famous for, that they had failed to get that demographic. Well, it's not that, uh, it's not like they're not trying. There's this beautiful athletic field behind me and it's an adjacent to this new stadium that they built for their soccer team. And of course, the track that I was behaving like a juvenile delinquent on a little while ago is over in that direction. And this whole complex is surrounded by uh, little shops and stores and Western fast food joints, that kind of thing. It says it's not, that, it's not like they're not trying. And so far, I kind of like Bori Ram. Long before Thailand, long before Siam, this region of the world was governed by the Khmer Kingdom. It's like a thousand years ago. Now that structure behind me is a replica of the kind of uh, structures that they built. Uh, yesterday I was at a, at a, a real uh, archeological site of a, of a Khmer castle. That was pretty awesome. designed this uh, replica of a Khmer palace. Put some thought into it. They even included something that I guess we could describe as a 1,000 year old version of uh, OnlyFans. Which brings me to the theme of, of this particular video, because I have been talking a lot about, uh, you know, values and goal setting and, you know, very responsible things like that. Don't forget to have some fun. You see, when I was doing my homework this morning and I found that Wikipedia page, about this region of Thailand. Uh, about a thousand years ago, it was part of the Khmer Kingdom, which covered much of this part of Asia. Very powerful kingdom. And then the page went on to say that there really wasn't much in the way of reportable history up until the 1800s. It, that kind of struck me because there have been people here lots of people. It is primarily a, uh, an agricultural region. So, you know, I guess that's not the most, you know, uh, titillating of topics to attract the attention of history makers, people that write stuff down for, for everybody to see in years to come. But yeah, people were here. And that got me to thinking. It's like, 
There are a handful of people in history. Let's let's pick one. How about Genghis Khan? Genghis, Genghis Khan is known here in Asia, and he's known all around the world because he was a successful conqueror of almost all of Asia. There were a few uh, parts that he did not con conquer, but nearly all of Asia, southern Russia, parts of Europe. He even had his tentacles into Africa and North Africa, or so I'm told by the history people. So yeah, he was kind of a big deal. So people both East and West have heard of Genghis Khan. So well, I have a question for you. Who was his number two in command? <laughs> Which kind of makes my point. Whoever his number two in command was, that was quite a lofty position to be, you know, the secondhand man to the great Genghis Khan. And I'm sure he had one, he probably had several. And to make that level of status and power and influence was quite an undertaking and quite an accomplishment, but yet we've never heard of them. You know, other than those handful of people that, that were at the very tippy top of, uh, of historical events, people like you and I are just gonna fade away into memory. Like, you know, the many, many hundreds of thousands, perhaps millions of people that existed in this region of the world from a thousand years ago up until the 1800s who didn't even get a sentence on a Wikipedia page. And they were here, you know, doing what they, they did, you know, and feeding the world, mind you. You know, just because you're anonymous doesn't mean you're not doing good stuff. You know, people, uh, people in this region grow rice and they have for centuries. And, uh, you know, they're feeding the world, basically. Good stuff. And they're nice people, too. I'm enjoying my time here. But again, back to the theme of this video. While you're out there being a successful entrepreneur or whatever it is that you're going to do, don't forget to have some fun. Part of this track is open. Ah, this car's on it. Shit.